I'm John Rauschenberger, the CTO of Clarity Consulting. In this demo, I'm going to walk through an application that we've been working on for Microsoft that shows how you can improve your applications by embedding communications capabilities directly in your apps using the Microsoft Unified Communications platform. Now, for this demo, we wanted to come up with a scenario where we could show how an experience for both a customer as well as a business can be improved by building communications as well as presence directly into an application. So for this demo, we've decided to use a retail scenario. In this case, Contoso is a high-end retailer that sells both housewares and furniture. And what we've done is built an application that's designed for sales associates on the floor to use running on tablet hardware that is Wi-Fi enabled, so it's connected real time, and has voice capabilities provided via a USB headset. Now what you're looking at here is the application running on a machine logged in as me, and I'm in the Palo Alto store. You can see you've got the categories of products on the right hand side here along with information about other stores on the right hand side. If we switch over to my other window here, I have the application running as a different user, Amy Strande, and she's in the San Jose store. And what we're going to do now is walk through how we can use this, app this application and the communications capabilities within it to deliver a better experience for customers shopping in the store as well as a better experience when those customers get their product home. We're also going to take a look at how Contoso can better utilize their workforce as they're on the floor by tapping into those resources when they're available to help customers. So let's start by having Amy help a customer who's looking to purchase some wine glasses for a party this evening. So if I drill down on wine glasses, I select the Reno wine glasses. We can see that in this case the customer, Denise, is looking to purchase these and we are out of stock here in the San Jose store. So a fairly common scenario, if you've ever run into this before now, and you need those tonight, you're willing to travel to another store to pick them up if they have some in stock. Well, in that scenario, Amy's going to want to confirm that the other store does indeed have some and that they can set some aside for Denise. Typically, what that would mean is Amy's going to have to leave the customer, go to a phone typically behind the desk, and start calling associates in the other store to try to find someone who can answer that question and it's going to have to wait while the other associate goes out and checks to see if we have them in stock. Well, in this scenario, what we've done is actually embed presence directly into the application. So Denise can click on the Palo Alto store. We pull back a list of the associates, and we can select the, an associate who's available. In this case, I am. And we can start a conversation with the other associate about the question we have. In this case, uh, do, they have, do they have any Reno wine glasses in the other store? Now, if we quickly jump over to my ID again, you can see that I'm at the home page in the application. I don't have any products selected. And what Amy can do now is start a conversation with me. And what we really want to do is make this as efficient as possible for the associates so we can help the customer as quickly as we can. To do that, we want to inject some context into the conversation. We don't necessarily want to have Amy have to tell John what the product is, have him then go out to the floor and check to make sure that he's got the right product and that he has it in stock. What I can do here is actually drag the wine glasses directly over to John's ID and answer the calls here so we can stop the ringing. And what that did was to start a voice conversation between John and Amy, indicating, and in that conversation we use the IM modality to have the application programmatically send a message indicating that this is an inventory request for Reno wine glasses. And our client application, the Contoso Retail app in this case, is actually looking at those inbound calls to see if there's any context that it needs to respond to. And if I minimize the conversation window here, you can see that it did recognize this is an inventory request and automatically navigated the application directly to those wine glasses. John can see that the inventory screen is saying we have 14 in stock. He can go out and confirm now on the floor that we actually have those. The inventory that we see on the screen reflects what we actually have on the shelf and can set those aside for the customer. And at this point, John and Amy can have that voice conversation back and forth. I'm getting a warning here that I don't have a microphone on this PC because I'm running on a, over a remote desktop. But in the application, we can actually have that conversation. John can confirm to Amy that we have those wine glasses in stock, and she can comfortably send the customer over to the other store knowing that the wine glasses will be waiting for her when she gets there. Let's go ahead and end that conversation. At this point, Denise, the customer, is going to get in her car. She's going to drive over to the Palo Alto store find John and purchase those wine glasses. And what we've done in this example now is, as we're seeing more and more frequently with retail applications, we're allowing the associate to directly complete the sale on the device without having to go back and retur uh, return to the cash register. Assuming Denise wants to pay by uh, credit card, which she does, we can go ahead and complete that sale here. 
Now, we also can give Denise the option of getting a, an electronic copy of that receipt. She could also get that in lieu of a paper, whichever makes more sense. But we're actually going to go ahead and enable that here. Denise has indicated she would like to receive that, so we'll go ahead and send her our receipt. So at this point, Denise has left the store. Uh, she is satisfied that she got her glasses. She got them on the day she needed them. And we were able to process that much more efficiently than we would be able to if, Denise, or if Amy and John had been forced to rely on traditional communication means to answer that question that Denise had about the availability of the product in another store. Well, now that Denise gets home, let's pick up the story there. I'm going to launch Windows Mail here. And Denise should have a new email waiting for her, which she does. We'll download the images there. Now what we see is what you'd expect to see in this type of a receipt. You know, purchase the product that she purchased, how she paid, uh, her order number. We also, though, have an option here to have an associate contact her if she has some questions about her order. And by clicking on this link, what we're actually doing now is bringing up the, uh, a web page where Denise can see the details of her order. We know that because we clicked on the link that had her order ID embedded in it. And she can provide some information about the questions she has and the phone number that she'd like to be contacted at and have an associate call her back. And what this does is provide a more efficient experience for both Denise and Contoso. Denise does not need to call into uh, an IVR, for example, and go through a series of prompts and then wait on hold while an associate or a, a customer service representative is found that can answer her question. Rather, she can provide that information up front. So I'm going to put in the phone number that I'd like to be called back at. And for this, I'm going to use my desk number here that I'm recording this video from. And then I can ask the question that Denise would like to know. So she forgot to ask whether or not these glasses are dishwasher safe. So she can submit that question. Now, when I click Call Me here from the web page, that's actually going to do, and let me close out our windows here so we can see what happened. It's going to invoke a workflow on the back end that's going to do a couple of things. First, it's going to look up the store that Denise purchased those glasses from. And it's going to find the associates in that store and query their presence to see are any associates in the store that Denise actually shopped at available right now to answer a question. And because I finished that call with Amy, you can see in the background here that uh, my presence has gone back to a green state indicating that I am available. So we went ahead and sent from that backend process running on the server a request out to John indicating that a customer would like to be called back. And again, our application saw that message come in, recognized that this is a message that it needs to respond to, so it brought up this custom WPF experience on top of the message that came out so the associate on the floor from his or her uh, touch-enabled tablet can quickly indicate that, yes, I can take this call. Now, at this point, we haven't actually called Denise. John's able to, or I'm able to, review the question she has. So down here, the, the question is, are these dishwashers safe? I know what item she's asking that about. And I can now directly from my tablet give Denise a call and answer that question. Now remember again, this is a voice enabled tablet. We have a USB headset. Our Unified Communications infrastructure is enabled to make calls out through uh, the PSTN to Denise's home or cell phone number, and we can answer that question for her. So I'll click on call. That launches a call to the number that we entered up on the website. And we see that call come in on my desktop here. I'm going to answer that call and quickly mute my microphone. Uh, so we don't get feedback going back and forth. So I do now have an active call uh, between the associate in the store and the customer at home. You can see here on the call that actually was just dialing the phone number that we entered on the website. That was just some context we captured from Denise and we passed on to the associate on the floor. So hopefully what you've seen with this demo is how we're able to deliver a better experience for our customers. We're able to answer their questions, questions more quickly and more efficiently by embedding both communications and presence directly in our application. We've also been able to extend and improve the communication experience that our associates have between each other by providing context for those conversations, by programmatically within our application injecting the context that can allow the recipient of the request to quickly answer that question. And then taking that forward one more step when Denise gets home, not only are we able to make her experience of getting her answer more efficient by not having to wait on hold while we find someone who can answer it, rather we allow her to provide the information on a website, which is typically much more efficient than going through a series of voice prompts. And we're also able then to fully utilize our workforce so we can have those associates on the floor in the store answering questions for Denise very efficiently as they're in a state when they're not helping customers. Obviously, this demo is very focused on the retail scenario. 
hopefully that the concepts here and the ability to do some interesting things in your applications provide more value by extending those capabilities with the Unified Communications Platform can help you think through how this might apply to your business and your needs.